Okay, this Excel spreadsheet is to simulate the law of large numbers. The first uh, location here is you would manually roll a pair of dice and with the dice value you would then add them and you would enter the sum here. Uh, suppose we would roll a 5 and a 5 so the sum would be 10 and we would manually enter this and the average of one roll of a pair of dice now is 10. On the second roll if we would roll a 2 10 plus 2 averages out to 6 and so what's being plotted on the graph is the average of all of the rolls that have taken place so far. So I'm just going to uh, arbitrarily place some numbers in here instead of rolling the dice but if you're doing this with students for demonstration purposes you would basically continue to roll the dice and enter various sums as you go on. This is so that they get a feel for the fact that all of the previous rolls are averaged for the cumulative average and that's what's being plotted. All right, We're not plotting each roll, we're plotting the cumulative average of all the rolls that have been taking place. All right, and of course we're expecting it to start converging around the value of seven. All right, we now go into the uh, next sheet, and here basically the computer is rolling the dice using a random number generator, and we can re-roll the dice by using command equal in Excel. And again, we see a lot of fluctuation early on, and then it starts to settle in. We can also see it in the cumulative average, where it's fluctuating early on, and then as we get farther down to our 30 rolls, it's starting to uh, be closer to the same value. But 30 rolls is not very large, so the next is 200 rolls. And again, here is the sum of our two dice, the cumulative value, the number of rolls, and our cumulative average, and that's what's being plotted on our graph. Again, we can re-roll, so we get a little fluctuation early on, but after 200 rolls, we see that it is definitely starting to settle in and converge close to the value of 7. seeing the same thing in our table of values as we scroll down. And as we would get to simulation using 2,000 rolls, 2 million rolls, this would start to converge on the uh, theoretical average of 7 and the difference between the values in the cumulative average and 7 would become very, very, very small and eventually approach uh, 0 as our number of rolls approaches infinity.